Welcome back everybody to our vlog. My name is Dustin. If you don't know me, I'm the owner of Mouse State Designs and Phantom Tents. Welcome back everybody. It's been a while since I've done an actual video and I'm kind of excited about this one. If you haven't been watching on our Facebook, I actually just signed a lease to our new garage, our new shop for Phantom Tent and Mount State Designs. Try to give you an idea of what the future beholds and go from there. <sighs> I'm excited. This garage has been one of my dream garages for work. Got this tall garage door behind me as well. Super dope as well. This is gonna be awesome for wraps, details, window tent. I'm gonna give you guys kind of a rundown of what the shop will look like. And yeah, this room right here is where we're gonna be doing all our custom apparel, our screen printing, bagging, heat press, all that stuff. I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna do in here yet. I'm debating between an office, a vinyl cutting area, my embroidery machine, which I don't know if it'll fit in there, so we'll have to go through that door and in here, and it's kind of long, but I think it might just be enough to get it to turn to get it in here. So I'm hoping that's the case, because that's kind of what I want to have in here. This room right here, uh, I'm thinking about my vinyl machine, my printer, all that stuff, be in this room, laminator, and this baby being partial office as well. I'm gonna get a chime system because that way I don't have to worry about being in the garage and not being able to hear someone coming in or something like that until I get a receptionist or someone in here to kind of take care of incoming customers and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that's soon. Like I said, we gotta get our foot in the door, start getting some orders out. So I'm here again for another late night here at the new shop. I just uh, brought some more stuff in. I'm still doing some more thinking on where I wanna place everything and all that stuff. So um, here in the next week or so, I'm getting my electrician to come in and run uh, some new wire for our dryer that's one in this room and two more plugs for my actual latex printer but this room right here we're definitely doing custom apparel screen printing heat press all that stuff we're going back to a manual setup i might sound crazy but the automatic that we have i kind of got burnt out on it and it's not because i don't know how to print on it <laughs> trust me i've spent many nights learning the ropes of it Whenever you print on an automatic, you're stationary. So you're loading and unloading shirts, putting them on the dryer, and you click a pedal, the next one comes. It's super convenient, especially with a one collar job. I mean, it goes super fast, but there's issues. There's, I mean, and it's a standard issue with any automatic out there, especially a used one. I started back in 2015 on a manual press. So I know that whole process enough to where I think it will be all right without an automatic. We got the automatic because for the last two or three years, I've been trying to get more equipment to do stuff faster, to get it out the door where I'm a one person operation right now. And I hope to change that. So going back to a manual setup isn't the end of the world to me. Um, like I said, I kind of got burnt out on an automatic just because of the little problems that, that occur. But like I said, this room here definitely gonna be for screen printing. For the other rooms, I'm not 100% sure what I'm gonna be doing uh, layout wise, but hopefully by the next video I do, I have a general idea of what kind of layout I want for this because we're hoping to get in here by mid-July. So uh, super excited. Like I said, we're kind of going back to the basics. I've been super busy with window tinting. So that's why I'm kind of shifting gears a little bit. Um, I don't need the biggest and boldest machine to get stuff done. Um, I did it for five years on a manual. Um, I have no problems doing it for another five years on the manual. And I have another automatic. If it comes down to it to where we get super busy, we can figure something out then. Uh, it's in storage. It just needs a few air cylinders. So it's not the end of the world to get it fixed up. But if you haven't already, like and subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna be doing a lot more video once we're in this shop. I'm gonna be doing projects, 
I might do some tutorials. I might do just some crazy stuff. So be on the watch out for all that. Next week, I am making another video about kind of the layout that I'm doing. Maybe show you around the shop a little more uh, with the layout that I have. And yeah, so I'll see you guys on the next one. See you guys.